Hello, learner. Welcome to Mr. Quaker's Teachers. In this lesson, I'll be providing a detailed analysis of Bo Kim Cheng's poem, The Planners. I'll speak about the themes, the figure of speech, the point of view, the poet's tone, language, the structure, poetic devices, rhyme scheme, you know, essentially the stylistic devices that Cheng uses to present his, present his irritation with a group of city authorities that he refers to as the planners. So essentially, I'll try to prepare you for any kind of question that may be thrown to you, either if you're writing the GCSE or IGCSE or any other exam where you'll be examined on the poem, The Planners. Let's dive in. Now, let's begin by speaking about the poet Bo Kim Cheng. He was born in 1965. He's a Singaporean-Australian poet, so he's of dual nationality. He's a very well-accomplished writer and has won an array of literary awards, including the National University of Singapore Poetry Writing Stroke Creative Prose Competition, the National Arts Council's Young Artist Award in 1996, among others. He has also taught in Australian and Singaporean universities. Now, in this poem, the planets, this is how the poem appears, is a um, three stanza poem, um, free verse poem. But then, if you observe, the poem appears haphazard on the page, and I'm going to explain some of these points in the elements of literature portion of the analysis for Bo Kim Cheng. So please um, remember to look at both um, analysis. And I also want to read an a few GCSE or IGCSE style questions so that you begin to think about the questions before we begin. So um, one of the qu questions, for example, is how does Cheng powerfully convey his attitude to the planets in this poem? That's a question in, from 2017. And then another question is how does Cheng create such disturbing impressions of the city in the planets? So that's a more recent poem, 2023. So these are questions that can be thrown at you. And if you look at the course as part of the course there are igcse style questions very good questions a star quality that you can draw inspiration from and maybe modify and make it your own now let me begin by reading out the poem the planners bokim cheng the plan they build all spaces are graded filled with permutations of possibilities the buildings are in alignment with the roads which meet at desired points linked by bridges all hung in the grace of mathematics they build and will not stop. Even the sea draws back and the sky surrender. They raise the floors, the blemishes of the past, knock off useless blocks with dental dexterity. All gaps are plugged with gleaming gold. The country wears perfect rows of shiny teeth. Anesthesia, amnesia, hypnosis. They have the means. They have it all so it will not hurt. So history is new again. The piling will not stop. The drilling goes right through the fossils of last century. But my heart would not bleed poetry, not a single drop, to stain the blueprint of our pasts tomorrow. So, we, when you observe, the very first thing we see in the poem is that Chen opens the poem with two two-worded short sentences. The plan is the first sentence, and then the build is the second. His revelation brings into focus two actions that have already been taken by a group that he refers to with a third-person plural pronoun, they which shows that he's separate from them. So they, he's not part of them. He's not one of them. That's the first thing that we see that Cheng uses. And I'm going to talk about more of the, the, the usefulness or the effect that's created by the short, short sentences. The first action, that's the group's first action plan, implies that they take their time, are systematic in creating designs and are organized. Plan also presents the group as a bunch of schemers that come up with building concepts in secret. Now let's look at his use of repetition, the repetition of day twice in the first two sentences. Cheng's repetition of day twice in the first line emphasizes the twin action, so there are two actions, of the planners, the actions go together, and suggests that they, are, they, are, they can be found everywhere and are relentless. So the planners can be found everywhere. They also create the impression that Cheng is pointing from a distance with disdain at the group. Furthermore, Cheng's repetition of day in the opening two sentences of the poem 
also suggests that he is unhappy and irritated by their actions and wants to bring them under the reader's spotlight. So one of the things you, you, you should pay attention to is Cheng's tone as he speaks about the actions or the activities of the planners. He's irritated, he's angry. I mean, the final stanza is defined, but then he caricatures them. He's, you know, he's not happy with the, what they're doing. Now, let's look at the explanation for the use of short sentences. So we see the use of repetition day. Then we also see the use of short sentences as well. His use of two short sentences, they plan, full stop, they build, full stop, those are the two short sentences, in quick succession, also quickens the action that is being carried out by the group and creates the impression that there's a short time between when they plan and when they carry out their second action, which is to build. So that's the effect that a short sentence creates. Bill tells that they put up a structure. So he wants us to know that they put up a structure. That is, they take steps to construct the structure that they have in their plan. This detail shows that they are not wishful thinkers, but determinedly carry out their plans to a logical conclusion. So immediately they plan, they look for a way to build it. The poet begins the third sentence of the, of the first line with all which indicates an absolute. So it indicates that absolute, all. There is no part of the place that is left bare. All indicates an absolute. Why the phrase all spaces shows that no area or plot of ground is left untouched by the urban sprawl, urbanization and gentrification that has been undertaken in the setting. So those are the themes as well. So the theme of urban, um, urban sprawl, the spread of the city, urbanization, you know, modernization, gentrification, some of the areas are being modernized and then the traditional people who live there are pushed out because they cannot pay the rent or cannot buy food from the shop. So I think that's also an idea that Cheng presents when he says all spaces are greeted. So gentrification that has been undertaken in the setting, that is no piece of land is exempt from the construction works that is being undertaken by the planners. Additionally, all spaces shows that the nooks and crannies of the setting are being reconstructed. While the last word of the line, greeted, suggests that every part of the setting has already been marked out for future construction works. So it's only a matter of time before the plan for which it was greeted physically manifests. So we see here that every space has been greeted, marked out. Greeted also reveals that every plot of ground has been visibly marked off. So if you go to the setting, he wants us to have that mental image that when you go to the setting, you can see clearly that it's been greeted with grid markers that signal the imminence, so very soon, of a future construction work. The expression, all spaces are greeted, also suggests that no parcel of land or ground is left virgin or in its natural state. That is, with untamed grass, bushes, or trees. Neither has any place been left fallow, empty, or in its natural state. All spaces are greeted. So even the natural areas have been greeted. Houses are going to be put up there. So there's no natural, there's nothing in this virgin or natural state. So no untamed grass, no bushes, or trees. Neither has any place been left fallow, empty, or in its natural state. Simply, there's a obvious signs everywhere. So there are obvious signs everywhere in the setting that we'll soon see the ubiquitous spread of brick and mortar. So in the, in the mind of the planners, the indication that the place is progressed is by the construction of houses. In the second line of the poem, Chen continues filled with permutations of possibilities. The first word, filled tells that there is no room for even one additional plan. So, observe the use of all spaces and now filled. If something is filled, it can take no more. So, it tells that there is no room for even one additional plan because the planners, have already, the planners already have plans for every millimeter of ground. While permutations or possibilities expresses that they have put together the maximum conceivable amount of ways for each plot of ground to be utilized. So the maximum ways that each individual plot of ground will be utilized. With permutations of possibilities, it also tells that the group have planned 
to construct the maximum number of buildings in each grid. Remember, the place is gridded. So that no parcel of land is wasted. So in their minds, the minds of the planners, I mean, if any space is left empty, then it's being wasted. Additionally, permutations of possibilities also exposes to the reader that in the minds of the planners, a portion of land is considered to be properly utilized if it has the maximum number of structures that, be that can be constructed on it. So that's the only way that they understand that a place, a, a plot of ground is being used well. If there is a maximum amount of structure can, that can be built on it, it's on it. Permutations of possibilities also suggest that there are areas with competing grids. So there are certain areas that have competing grids. So they want to build A and B on the same spot. And the group have overlapping plans for each spot. This detail is striking because it creates the impression that not even an inch of the setting is left untouched by the planners. Hello, Lena. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson so far. This is a sample video analysis of this poem. To access the full analysis, purchase it or the entire course with detailed analysis of all the 15 poems, the elements of literature in each poem, and IGCSE style questions, both passage-based and general. There are also A-star quality sample essays as well at mrquakersteaches.com. Find the links in the description. See you in class.